Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the setup wizard for our routers and switches. I'm using the same lab setup again, where I've got R1, which is going to have IP address 192.168.0.1 on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. We're going to use that as the management IP address. And we've got switch 1, which is going to have management IP address 192.168.0.10 on the VLAN 1 SVI. And switch 1 is connected to R1 with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. So let's have a look at this in the lab. So this is what you'll see when you first take a router out of the box, power it on and hook up a console cable. So when it's brand new from the factory, it will automatically open up with the system configuration dialog. Also, if you factory reset the router, next time you boot it up, this is how it will look when you boot it up. And I've cheated a little bit here. You'll notice that I already had the router set up already. So another way that you can invoke the setup wizard is at the enable prompt, you can use the command setup. So you see that's what I've done here. And when you enter setup, it will show you the prompt here, the system configuration dialog. Do you want to continue with the configuration dialog? This is what you'll see the message down at the bottom here when the router is first time out of the box, brand new from the factory. So you can use this to do the initial setup of the router. Basically, all it's going to do is put a host name on there and configure an IP address for management. To be honest, I've never actually seen anybody use this in the real world. Everybody will always just break out of here by entering no and then configure the router or the switch manually. But you might be tested on this on the CCNA exam, so I'll show you how to do it anyway. Real world, you're probably never going to use this. Okay, so we are going to use it here, so I'll enter yes to config continue with the configuration dialog. It then tells me it's going to do a basic setup of the system. Would I like to enter the basic management setup? I'll say yes. It then asks me for the host name. I'll name this router R1. It then asks for an enable secret. This is a secret password which is encrypted that is going to be required to get into the enable prompt. It's best practice to enable one of these. We didn't do it in the last lecture because I'm going to show you it when I show you how to secure the router in a later lecture. So for the enable secret, I'll use Flatbox1. Next, it'll ask me for an enable password. This is basically the same thing, but the enable password is not encrypted, so it's not actually used. But the setup wizard is still going to ask me to enter one anyway, so I'll use Flatbox2 for that. Then it asks me for a virtual terminal password. This is the password that's going to be used for incoming Telnet or SSH sessions when I'm doing remote management over the router to the IP address. So I'll put another password in here. Okay, so that's my passwords entered. Next, it'll ask if I want to configure SNMP, the simple network management protocol. I'll say no, I could configure this later if I wanted to. It will then show me the interfaces on this router and ask me which one I want to use for the management interface. So I will choose interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. When I choose this, this is the one that's going to be enabled for remote management access. Ask, do I want to operate in full duplex mode? Yes, I do. Do I want to configure IP on the interface? Yes, I'm going to need to so that I've got an IP address to connect to for management. So I'll say yes, and I'll use 192.168.0.1. It will default to the class C subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. When you see an answer in brackets, it means that's the default, and you can just hit enter to accept that. It saves me having to type in 255.255.255.0 myself. It will then show me a summary of the commands that will be entered. 
So I see that it is going to enter the host name, R1. It's going to configure the IP address on interface fast ethernet zero slash zero and no shutdown. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will ask me if I want to save the config. So it gives me the option to break out to the normal command prompt without saving or to go back to the start of the setup wizard if I made a mistake in one of my entries or number two is going to save the config and exit. So I will hit two and that is the setup wizard completed on R1. Let's also do it on switch one. So I've got another tab open for switch one. And I'll go to the enable prompt and set up to invoke the setup wizard. Do I want to configure the configuration dialog? Yes. Very similar on switch one as well. Do I want to enter basic management setup? Yes. Enter the host name. I'll call this switch one. I'll use the enable secret, I'll enter that, and also an enable password, the virtual terminal password for telnet access. Do I want to configure SNMP? Not for now. It will show me the interfaces and this is a layer two switch, so I need to configure it on the SVI for VLAN one. Do I want to configure IP? Yes, I'll need that to allow remote management. And the IP address was 192.168.0.10. Subnet mask defaults to 255.255.255.0. That's fine. Do I want to enable this as a cluster command switch? No, this is not a clustered switch. So I'll say no to that. It then shows me a summary of the commands that are going to be entered. I can see I've got my management IP address there on VLAN 1. And that is the setup wizard completed. Again, it's number two to save and exit. And to test this, I should be able to ping the router now at 192.168.0.1. That works great. Okay, so good. Now, something you might have noticed, it did not prompt me for a default gateway. So it's not going to be able to get out to other subnets yet. So I'll enter global configuration and IP default dash gateway 192.168.0.1. Okay, that's it done. That's the setup wizard completed. I'll end out of there. And to test that management access works, let's try telnet to 192.168.0.1. That looks good. I'm getting the password prompt. So I'll enter what I set as the password. And I've now got a prompt. I've remotely telneted into R1 for management. Okay, that's everything I needed to show you there. That's a setup wizard. Again, real world, you're not ever gonna use this, but it's there if you ever want to. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.